Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joe from the Thief Nifty Thrifty Homestead. Let me get that out. I need see, tell me if I need to change my name to something easier. Nifty Thrifty Homestead. That's a tongue twister. Anyway, this is an, an accumulation haul. Uh, a little bit before Christmas, and now it just seems when you start to laser focus what you're looking for at the thrift stores, you seem to find a lot of it, or you find none of it. So. I've gotten very lucky and I'm fixing to slow my roll on the whole thrift store thing because we've got other things in the works and uh, I did another video it didn't upload so I'm still gonna try to upload it before I do this one so if you've seen that one that's kind of a mess I really wanted that instapot but there's bigger and better things I think the Lord has so I can live without the instapot anyway let me get into this and show you what I have found. A few farmy things that I'm pretty excited, excited about. All right, we'll start with these. I think I found these the first, like right before Christmas. And uh, I'm real excited about them. Anyway, they're these big old soup cups. They have a little farm signs like uh, seed pack signs or decals on them like this one's for carrots and uh, let's see they're dishwasher safe that do it up that do it. that'll do it ink that's what they says that'll do it ink and you can see they were 303 and I watched these for like two or three weeks at the thrift store nobody bought them because Who's gonna pay three bucks for one bowl at a Goodwill? So I watched it. I watched them and watched them, and finally they went half price. So I really wanted them. So a dollar fifty. Anyway, there's the bell pepper one, and there's the sugar corn. Kind of cute. Let me adjust my light so we don't get a glare on every little thing. Hang on. be a little bit better and then here is the one that's really cute it says farm fresh tomatoes we're still gonna get the little glare but we'll just have to live with it Alrighty. so there's that and I've been hanging on to those to show you for a while but those were so cute it'll be some fun fun cool little things because I'll use my stuff I'll be using those for soup and everything Okay, and then I've kind of, I've got quite a bit of this type of stuff already, and I've kind of just found more, which is always fun. And, uh, oh, I'm missing some stuff that's outside. I'll have to go grab it. <coughs> Let me show you what I've got here, and then I'll go grab the rest. But, uh, it's just finding so much of it, you got to <coughs> laser focus. Hang on. <laughs> I've been sick. <coughs> Anyway, I'll be right back. <coughs> okay, I'm back. I got my cough out and I grabbed that stuff I forgot outside. Okay, so let's get started. I showed you my little soup bowls. Anyway, well, this is the kind of stuff I've been finding lately. How cute is this? It's kind of the off, very cro you know, crockery with the blue. And I'm sure this is not old, but it's just that style, you know. Nice little picture. There's no markings on this one at all. And $3.93. And I'm pretty sure I probably paid the $4 for this. It's cute. And it matches a lot of stuff I have, like I said. Like, this is just a for instance. This is something I've already had. See? I've got lots of stuff like that. So, I already had it. So, that's... I keep my eye out for that kind of thing. Anyway, and then I found these two coffee mugs, and uh, they are country crock stoneware made in China. They were a dollar a one. I think these were half price, but there's a catalog called Lehman's, and they uh, it's in Ohio, and they sell a lot of stuff to the Amish, and they have a whole bunch of this stuff, and these mugs look like they may have come from there. 
they have two different types of mugs and this looks like one of those styles because I get that catalog but I've never ordered them because they're like 10 bucks a piece so anyway I really was tickled to find these mugs anyway because that's a pretty good size mug all right and then I found this just the other day and it's another croc with this little thing on it and the lid has a rubber seal nice big chunky lid good sized croc, you know, quite as big as my head, but anyway, and you can't really make out, you can't really make out the thing, but it does say ovenware, dishwasher, oven proof, microwave, so it's not old, you know, anything that says microwave, it's mid 70s or some early 70s, so it's not old, but anyway, I like it, All right. and this takes two of my boxes because I collect and like to look for um, oil lamps. So I found this little jewel, jewel too and there's the Lamplight Farms. Lamplight Farms is what it says. That's what it says on the bottom. Shoot the sticker. Anyway, and it was $4.94, and I'm sure I gave full price for that because it's an oil lamp, and I like oil lamps, and I use them. So, I need a globe for it, but that's not a big deal because I have some, because I collect oil lamps, so if I find globes, I, I buy the globes. So anyway, I love that too. I'm going to have a whole little theme going on very, very soon. Alright, and then... That's all the, like, the crockery. Well, I have one more piece, but I'm going to save it. <coughs> this is just, like, more of the, what's kind of farmy now. And, you know, the modern farmhouse type of stuff. And it's a cutting board that looks like a pineapple. And I did find one of those big pineapple bowls, you know, those ones that are whole, from the Hawaiian wood or, anyway. This was two ninety three. I like it. So that's enough. I have two pieces of pineapple stuff, so that's good enough. You know, it's, that's what's popular right now, what's in trend. So, I don't tend to go trendy too much. Alright, I'll save my funny thing for later. Here's my, my, my a cute basket. I'll probably put this on my front door. I'm a school bus. Anyway, I put some flowers or something in it for summer, spring, what have you. I'll do something with it, but it's pretty cute, and like I said, that's that's what's on trend right now, too. So, it's just a cute basket, and I don't remember how much it was. I don't see the anything wrote on it. It could have been more than $2, because I don't pay that much for two, for baskets. Okay, and then I found two little enamelware bowls, and I have strawberries. How cute is that for spring? All about some strawberries here lately, and there's two of them. Good sizes. This one was $1.91 and this one was $0.99. Cents. Can't beat that. They're cute. I could, you know, just use them for fruit bowls, but that would be a cute dog food bowl set, too. You know, I have a boy dog. I don't know if he would notice that that's strawberries. Anyway, whatever. I'll probably just use them. So, anyway. <coughs> <coughs> I'm getting there. I also found this. I was going to save this for like if Hillary from our So Cold Home does the uh, $5 Goodwill Challenge. This was going to be my thing because I found it at Christmas. And I'm like, ah, I'll save that for the $5 Goodwill Challenge for the spring edition. And it was $2.92. And it's wood. And it says spring. And it's got bumblebees. And the little bee skips and honeybees. Isn't that cute? I love it. Pretty neat. Anyway, my sister just texted me. I'll have to talk to her later. There we go. All right. Cute. Cute for spring. Can't wait to put that. I'll probably use that outside somewhere on my little, my garden shelfy thing. Okay. This is my silly thing because I've been watching this guy for a while and I wasn't going to pay full price for him because, and I like patriotic stuff. I know other people don't. 
always like patriotic stuff, but I do, and he was funny. So, I found a Uncle Sam. I know it. Not everybody's happy with all how things are going, but he's pretty funny, and uh, my husband says he looks like Bill, Cr Bill Clinton, and I'm like, oh, Lord. Didn't need none of that. Anyway... <laughs> He was two ninety two, and he was half price because I'd been watching him too. I just thought he was cute, and I could sit him outside. He could hang out outside. He can't if it's Bill. He can't get in any trouble if he's sitting outside on a shelf. Or can he? I don't know. We'll see. But I like him. Like I said, this seems it might seem like a lot, but it's like over almost two months worth of finds here and there. And my other vintage thing, which I have quite a bit of this too, but it's packed. This more enamel wear. And this one's actually vintage. I don't, it doesn't have a thing on it. It was $3.93. And I, I probably had to pay full price for that. I'm, I'm sure it wouldn't have stayed. But anyway, it's a pretty good size platter. I like this kind of stuff. I have some plates and a couple other pieces. And I think a big bowl. But it's like I said, it's all packed because I packed everything up. To move out here. Alright, this last piece is for all you ironstone ladies who love that ironstone. I never really thought, gave uh, much thought about it because I've got enough stuff. I have enough, enough things to collect. But this one, I like the shape. I looked up on it. And I think I want to plant some African violets or something in it. Isn't that cute? It probably was supposed to have, have, a, have a top to it. But it's got a little bit of detail on the hands. And it's a, it's pretty grubby. It might be a little bit old. It doesn't say anything about being microwavable. So it's Ironstone China. Charles Minkin Burleson. I need to look that up. B-U-R-S-L-E-M. Anyway, it might be kind of old. I really haven't. I'm usually really good about Googling stuff. I'm trying to sh see if that'll focus. It's not. Anyway, like I said, it was $1.91. But, yeah, I think that'll be cute with some uh, African violets or something, pansies, whatever it is I can plant in a small container. But I think that would be cute. Anyway, that's my thing for all you Ironstone gals out there. I don't know if I have anybody that watches that for that. Anyway, let me get another. Oh, another thrifted mug. Yeah, I have two of these. <laughs> anyway, and they're green speckled. I found them. Anyway, it's all thrifted. Ouch, ouch. I think that's everything that I've found lately. And I did find an afghan. You want to see it? Hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. So this will probably be the extent of my Valentine's decor is this cute little pink afghan. This is how wide it is, and then it's probably just the size of a lap. Just a lap. A lap gan. Not an afghan, it's a lap gan. Anyway, and I've got it hanging up here in the front. But So that's probably the extent of my Valentine decor, because I like me some afghans. And uh, I just think I always think, because my mom made crochet and made afghans and stuff, and I've talked about her before, she's got dementia and Alzheimer's and she's in assisted living, but uh, I just know the grandmas and everybody that make these, they had to sit and they were quiet, they were at peace, and I just think of all that. These were products of their peace and their be still and know that I am the Lord moments so I think I want to think that's what uh, why I gravitate to them so, and and they're just really pretty but anyway oh, y'all have a great day when we find out more about our little building and uh, it gets here hopefully hopefully there's not a big market for them in the winter and that they'll build it quick and it'll get here quick he said three to, he said two to three weeks but they have to build it on site because we ordered one without the porch so we could have the whole 16 by 40 interior to 
put a house in. Like I said, we were going to do the shipping container thing, but that's just, stuff happens, you know, life happens, because uh, when we started all this business, we were a two-income family, and we are now a one-income family, and it's me, and uh, so that kind of stuff happens, and doctor's appointments, and anyway, you get busy, and Sometimes you just have to make do, and we're going to make do, but we're going to make it nice. It's going to be nice, and I'm not disappointed one whatsoever, so uh, it'll be a good thing. And But the bus, I think people living in these buses and the tiny house and making the RVs, their homes and stuff with kids, it's got to be because they're little kids. Doing it with a teenager, no, no bueno, no thank you. I've had enough. My husband's had enough. He's had enough. So, it's time we need, everybody needs a spot to go. <laughs> we all need our separate corners at times. Like, I've been sick, and uh, when I get a cough, I get a cough, and it lasts forever. And uh, I've had to sleep in the in the uh, little, what we call the well house, which is where the bathroom and the laundry room. I had to sleep over there by myself in a lawn chair because there's nowhere else to go. And uh, I couldn't lay flat in the bed because of the cough. And then I'd have everybody awake all night in this little bus. So, stuff like that. And we're just ready. We're ready to move on, settle in, and uh, so we can get our homestead part going. Some more critters and the big garden and all that good stuff. So, anyway, you guys have an amazing day. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to visit. Stay warm. It's supposed to be 23 here in Oklahoma tomorrow. And it's flipping cold today. So, y'all have a great day. The hubs and the kid are outside moving one of the containers. Because it's, they were in the spot where we're going to have the little building delivered. So, they've been doing it kind of like how the uh, Egyptians move stuff, I think. Except we pull in with a truck, but they still have the little logs under there that they're rolling it on. It's been pretty interesting. And I, I, it's, it's cold. It's like in the 30s here today, too. So, I'll stop talking. Thanks for watching my, my haul, my accumulative haul. And uh, you guys, have a great day. Be good to each other. And like and subscribe if you so choose. You know what to do. And uh, let's get... 2018 off to a really awesome start. Bye guys.